Hello. Hi Lasa, how are you? I am fine, and you? Here I am, and today I will be your mathematics tutor. And today we will discuss about your learning goals. And I will help you uh, from basic levels uh, in mathematics, and you will enjoy in learning mathematics hopefully. Just feel free uh, to ask any type of query. Uh, you can ask any type of questions if you are not clear. Uh, we will start very slowly, slowly, and learn and clear each and everything uh, uh, perfectly. Okay. Okay. Let me know which is your home country. Okay, you are in the U.S. Uh, sounds good. Okay. Now let's start. Uh, shall we start our today's lesson? Okay. Uh, I will share. Okay. Question number one. Six times a number is fourteen less than the opposite of the number. What is a number? First of all, we will understand what is meant by this question. Okay? We have to find a number. We don't know about the, about the number. Okay? In mathematics, when we have to find something, we will suppose, we can suppose a number is x. Suppose a number is x okay uh, what is the number uh, we don't know about the number therefore we have supposed that is suppose the number is uh, this is x okay now i saying that six times a number what is meant by six times a number when in mathematics uh, problems we say times times mean multiplication what is meant by times multiplication okay now what does mean six times a number our number is what x then what is meant by six times number it is meant by six multiplied by x this is equal to six x okay now i will explain in very simple way you will understand math very well this is very simple and easy question uh, actually we uh, didn't understand the question statement therefore we feel the question is difficult but if when we understand the meanings of the question statement then it is very simple okay now since we do not know about the number he is asking that uh, what is the number we have supposed suppose number is equal to x and then he says six times a number then we write six times number is what six x therefore now here we will write six times a number this is equal to what six x and uh, this is just our rough work okay now what is saying six times a number is less uh, is 14 less than what then the opposite of the number okay do you know what is meant by opposite of a number? No. Okay, I will tell you. If the number is what? 2. What is this? Yeah, 2. Then the opposite of 2 is what? Negative 2. Okay? No. Uh, opposite. The, uh, 
it is a positive the opposite of positive is what negative positive and negative these are what opposite to each other okay okay now let me know if a number is x then what is opposite of x yeah negative x that's great you are very intelligent my little princess okay now let me know six times a number is 14 less than the opposite of a number first we name the number x okay now we suppose the opposite of number is what negative x okay uh, opposite of a number this is equal to negative x because our number is x therefore its uh, opposite is negative x okay okay mm. I don't really raise this one now what is the question 6 times the number is 14 less than the opposite of the number now there are we have two numbers one is x and the other is negative x okay x and negative x these are two different numbers now he is saying that six times a number therefore six times number this number 6x is 14 less than the opposite of the number this number is 14 less less mean subtraction what is meant by less minus okay can you see okay less mean minus now this number is 14 less than this number it meant it's meant by this number is greater than 6x how much greater it is 14 greater this number is greater if we add 14 in this number then both will be equal okay because 6 times the number what is 6 times number this is 6x 6 times number is 14 less than what the opposite of the number it is meant by this number 6x is 14 less than what negative x uh, it, this mean these are not equal to each other these are not equal okay when they will be equal they will be equal if we add 14 no no uh, if we subtract 14 from the this number why now these are equal because this number negative x is 14 greater than this or in other words 6x 6 times number is 14 less than this number okay now it's up to you you add 14 on the left hand side or subtract 14 from the right hand side it's your choice I will again explain this the concept of this question question is saying that 6 times a number which means 6x is 14 less is this number is less 14 less from what then the opposite of the number this opposite of number is what negative x this is the number opposite Therefore, this number is 14 less than this number. Then we want to make them equal. How they will be equal? This is 14 less. Just we will add 14 in it. Now these are what? Equal to each other. Okay. Do you understand? Now we have to find the number. What is the number? Okay our number is what our number is x we have to find x we have to calculate x only okay
Now, from this equation, we will calculate x. Do you know we can write it here like this? 6x, this is negative x. Uh, when it moves to the left hand side of the equal sign, it will be positive x. It is equal to 14 will move on the right side of this equal, it will be what? Negative 14. Do you know this concept or no? Okay, I will explain. Uh, if it is equal sign. Here is some uh, another equation x plus 2 is equal to y like suppose. Okay, we can add or subtract the same number on the both side of the equal equation. Do you know? We can add or subtract the same type of number. Okay, I will explain it in simple. This is but x and this is also x. We want to combine the same terms on the this is equal sign and this side is called left hand side and this side is called right hand side of the equation okay this is what right hand side and this is called what left hand side okay okay now the question is 6x plus 14 is equal to negative x this is our equation and this term also contains x and this also contains x we want to combine the similar terms this term and this term these both are the similars okay now this is negative we want to remove this x from the right hand side what we will do we will add x on both sides add add x on both sides it will be this is the equation and we will write it again 6x plus 14 6x plus 14 is equal to negative x we will add x on both sides okay now x will be cancelled on the right hand side it will be cancelled okay now why these are cancelled because you know uh, 2 minus 2 this is equal to what 0 okay and x minus x is equal to what? 0. That's great. Uh, now, this is what? 6x plus this is 1x. Now, do you know 6 plus 1 is equal to what? 7. Then total will be 7x. Now, plus 14 is equal to 0 okay is it because uh, negative x positive x this is 0 x minus x is 0 okay and 6x plus 1x is 7x and plus 14 okay happens to other uh, this is a positive x and this is negative x. You know that x minus x is equal to 0. Therefore, plus x and minus x, this will be cancelled and will be equal to 0. Now we have add 6x and plus 1x. 6 and 1, these are 7x. Okay? And the remaining term is what? 14. Plus 14, we will write here plus 14. And this is equal to, on the right hand side, it is 0. Therefore, we will write 0 here. Okay? Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. Do you have any question? 
Okay, I will repeat this question again. Now, this term is 14. We want to shift 14 on the right hand side because we have to calculate x because x is our required number. Our number is what? We have suppose number is x. Okay, what is our target? Here on the left hand side, only x will be alone. Okay. We will subtract 14 on both on both sides. Subtract 14 on both sides. Then, uh, in this of, uh, previous equation, 7x plus 14 is equal to 0, minus 14 and then minus 14. Okay? Now, 14 minus 14 is what? 0. Then here on the left side, there will be only 7x. And is equal to 0 minus 14. This is what? Minus 14. Okay? Okay. Now, 7 and x, these both, 7x, what does it, what does mean 7x? It meant by 7 multiply by x. Okay? Now, how can we cancel 7? Just by dividing. Dividing by seven. It will be what? Seven x is equal to negative fourteen. Over seven over seven. Then this seven cancel seven one time, seven ones are seven. Now seven one times seven, seven twos are fourteen. Do you know? Now this is what one x only. X is equal to this is negative sign, negative two. This is the required number. Our required number is negative two. This is required. number. Hi Lassa, let me know, do you understand this question? Uh, may I repeat it again? Shall I repeat this question again?